Hello beautiful people. <laughs> oh, it's been a long week for me. I hope that your week was better. And before I go forward, happy new month. Woo! <laughs> Ah, um, a lot of things have, has happened this you know past days, and it's overwhelming. Today, I know that I'm supposed to like start up a new um, series this month since it's March already, right? But somehow, I just wanted to discuss on something different, and different in the sense that it's just going to be my thoughts out here, um, what I've learned on what i want to talk about and then of course it would be nice if we all engage so that maybe we could make it a series a series right i mean if you engage i get responses i could like read our responses in the next episode and you know make something beautiful out of it for everything i wish that i'm recording this like as a video and not just an audio but alas <laughs> i'm not in the space to use um, my ring lights and just in case you notice that the sound is a bit different, my Bluetooth mic got stolen. I don't know. Let me just say it. <laughs> my Bluetooth mic got stolen and, you know, I, I actually ordered a new one already. So, next episode is going to be clearer by the grace of God. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for listening to, I mean, the two previous episodes of this season. I hope that you got value and that you enjoyed listening as much as I enjoyed recording. My name is Damlola Jay-Z <laughs> and I give practical guys to do relationship the right way. That's the God's way. Sometimes I forget to introduce myself. Sorry about that. I'm going to be not so professional in this particular episode. So help me God. I mean, I like I said earlier, I'm just going to like share my 10 cents on the topic I want to talk about. And yeah, the topic I want to talk about is compatibility you know in relationship in marriage whatever you know i feel like even for friendships you have to be somehow in in is this saying the color now sync you have to there, there has to be a synergy you know how they say that um you guys are vibing together there has to be a synergy in your vibes let me put it that way for you guys to be good friends so and that but and that also you know goes on towards um relationship marriage and what have you right this is so unprepared i'm just speaking like from top of my head without having anything written down but i know that you definitely get something so let me just get right into it right all right so first of all i mean when you hear compatibility some of us think so deep and too well it's not so serious i feel like it's basic but very important so first of all there are so many types of compatibility you know one i want to start from is actually believe i would say believe i would say value system right believe as in faith i'm a christian and this is a christian content so yeah how compatible are you with the person you claim to love or the person you're in love with how compatible is your faith do you have the same belief do you believe in the same thing you know it's a wide scope to say oh we are both christians we should be fine you can be both christians and have different doctrinal belief and have different belief on different issues right you know what do you think about baptism i feel like these are questions that these are some questions that we should also like get to know when you say you are when you say you're cutting that's the time to actually get to know all of these things and you can even get to know it in friendship as well. I, I, I advocate for friendship every time. Because I feel like with friendship, you are not um, stringing anybody along. There are no feelings involved. So you can be rational. You can be logical, right? And then you are able to decide whether this is what you want or it's not. Right? So friendship is the way to go. But if you are in a relationship, relationship already, sorry, and maybe you've not had some of this discussion, they are important. You know why? Because you both are going to be parenting very soon. That's, I believe that the goal of your relationship is to get married. So what happens when mommy says, oh baby, it's okay to speak in tongue. And dad says, no, you don't have to. You're a Christian regardless. There's going to be so much confusion. And you can avoid that right now. 
I'm not saying break up, definitely not. <laughs> I'm saying come to a balance, all right? Especially with how you would raise your kids. It's okay if you guys have different beliefs on whatever. But you need to come to a balance as to, okay, so what do we teach our children? Right? Very important. You know, your faith, your belief, the doctrines, what church will you attend after you get married? This probably for people that are already in the process of, you know, getting married and all. But if you are still in a relationship, it's still something to talk about as well. You know, what future, what, what faith, what ministry? Are, are, you, are you planning a ministry? Are you a ministry person? Would you mind if I just end up being a pastor? You know, would you mind if I have to travel out of where we are right now for 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 ministry not even business right now right you know all of those questions are really really important very very important and yeah in all you do do not put anybody on the spot and say oh hello um are you are you okay are you are you around because i would like us to have a discussion i have questions for you oh my god that is a very <laughs> creepy way to go about it you know just slide it in between conversations i mean that's why you should have intelligent conversations because Normally, if you have convers- if you're having a conversation around faith, for example, you can always slide those questions about faith that you have in, and it would not be, you it would not feel odd or awkward, and the person will not be um, extra sensitive and defensive, right? So that is one compatibility. And honestly, what do you guys think about it? Do you think that it's possible as long as you're Christians? Let's just go on about it. Um, it doesn't matter if you believe in what I believe in. We can just, we don't have to discuss it. Because like I said earlier, it's possible that you have different beliefs. But I feel like it needs to be discussed and the balance needs to be, you know, created or um, po- um, established, right? What What do you think? I really want this to be interactive. I wish that I can actually put a call line across and say, oh, call in. But we're getting there. That's going to definitely happen on the podcast. On this podcast, oh, sorry. That is more reason why you should stick around. No, no, not stick. Stay. (laughs) Stay. Follow. This is going to be very big. In another two, three years, if you are not listening to the Journey Called Love podcast, people ask you, what part of the world are you from? (laughs) All right. So, yeah, that's one. Another thing I think that is very, very, very important as well is attraction. You know, as much as people say that, no, not people, as much as attraction is just a, supposed to be a by the way thing, it's also important, you know, speaking with a friend earlier and then it was like, I mean, I need to like what's, what I see, right? I need to like something. I agree totally. Like, what's the, bo- how do you, how do you guys even do it? You're not attracted to someone and, and you're in a relationship with the person. How? I, I, I'm sorry, like. I understand that sometimes you like somebody so much and you just feel like a relationship is it is what to do, right? Maybe you like the person at least to an extent to start a relationship. I remember there's a time when I was still in school, around the grade level, I had a friend, still my friend now though. And then at that point, I, I realized that he was like attracted to me. And I remember said, telling my female friends at that time that I like this guy. I like him so much. He's a great friend. But... I don't like him past that. <laughs> I, I mean, this this is years ago, 2014. Years ago, and what do I know <laughs> about love and all of that at that time? But I, I just had that, you know, I, I didn't like him that much to that extent where I would say, if he asks, if he asks me out, I'll just say yes. I, I, it wasn't, I was not, I was not on that level, right? And some of us, that's that's what we, that's where we are actually with the person that we like right but somehow we think that it's okay to just do relationship i like you and that's all that matters but it's important to actually be maybe to actually be head over you yeah attracted to someone because see there are days when you would need that to sustain the relationship when you would um just think that okay why am i here again and you remember oh i actually like this person you know like and that's why they say that in marriage keep doing the things that your husband like about you or your wife like about you because somehow it it keeps it keeps the spark alive it keeps the flame burning it keeps 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 the fire ignite ignited if there's any word like that right very very important you need to be attracted to you know it's not please okay so i know that you might be listening to me and you are in this in the space of oh 
um god's will um this is what it is i prayed and that's it i don't like her but it's what god is who god is asking me to marry and all of that pastor family apostle family lazarus will say something like god is not it's not a wicked god how will god see you like this and give you somebody that you don't like i mean if it, if it has to be it'll probably make you like the person in a way right i mean god is love picture this god is love and somehow you think that he will give you someone you don't love to spend the rest of your life with god marriage is not punishment <laughs> as much as legit god's will is very important and yeah it exists yeah you should listen to god you should um, listen to hear what god is saying about who you are with and all of that but it's very important for you to also re- know the basic god will not give you somebody that you are not into do you understand? He won't, he won't, he won't say just Maria, just Maria. <laughs> There's a story that Apostle Femme Lazarus shared in one of the clip I saw. You know, about a lady. She was with a, in a relationship with a guy, and they, they are doing really great, and she like him, he likes her, and all of that. Then somehow, a mother and I think a mother sister or something, you know, found someone else, and then they're like, no, this is the one you should marry. Leave that other one alone. And she got married to him, and then trouble i can't remember what exactly the, the trouble is like but they had great issues right god is not a wicked god he is love so he would definitely lead you right you know when, yeah, I, I, growing up or not necessarily growing up recent no not recently <laughs> anyways i used to pray at some point because i had this understanding also at that time that some god can hey he was crazy you guys i wouldn't even lie <laughs> Don't mind me. I I, I am actually rem- trying to remember it now, picturing it now. It's actually very funny. I used to have this fear that God can actually just give you anybody, and then you are just left there to this, to, to figure out whether you like the person or not. But you just have no choice but uh, but to spend the rest of your life with that person. And it used to be a fear for me because I'm an attraction person, right? Like there are people I see and I like, and I'm like, oh my god, this is nice. There are people I see and, I mean, there's just nothing, right? And it's just scary that you have to spend the rest of your life with somebody that you don't feel anything for just because, I mean, it's God's will and you have to obey, you know? So, I, I used to pray at some point that, God, if that's what will be my fate, just help me that I would learn to love him, you know? <laughs> but it's a legit prayer anyways because, yeah, somehow, sometimes... What who God is asking you to go with may not be somebody that you like, like first sight or first um, meeting, right? I've had stories of people that later got to like their us their husband now, like when they were when they met, you know, they didn't like him at first or like her at first, and then along the line, as they got to know each other, you know, they started liking each other. There is that, I, and that's because I believe that love grows on the wing of knowledge don't judge that oh i don't like this person i beg i beg i beg i'm not with this person never ever give everybody a benefit of doubt get to know them that's for me that's my mantra i mean i don't turn i, I mean the people you see right and you're like oh no i'm sorry i can't do this <laughs> but i have learned to at least get to know them that way that way somehow even if it turns out that it's not that way somehow right even if it turns out that it's not it's not what you want at least you know that you did not lose this just because you know you are just because you are um how do i put this now uh you're not attracted or just because you're stubborn or just because you are not open right you're not open to the possibility so yeah be open to the possibility of um liking someone that you don't like immediately get to know the person i think it's pastor midred like that said that something like that you know physical attraction is important but don't 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 rule every anybody don't don't rule any everybody off just because you're not attracted to them get to know them it is knowledge that brings attraction it's what you know about somebody that says, oh i like this about her. i like her for that and this all right so yeah i don't want this to be like extremely long so i'm going to be stopping this here but like i said it would be nice to make this into a series maybe something about um compatibility so the season's theme is 
um, relationship goal lasting love right so we could probably bring this in because every relationship goal is that you are compatible and if you're not compatible there's no how your love will last trust me there are, there's going to be bad boys. although we know that normally marriage has um what, what's that and i said it's of how that rise you stitch up stone yeah but then again they are very there are so many um, avoidable circumstances so yes let's talk about this Please drop a comment if you are watching this. If you are listening to this from YouTube, drop a comment. What do you think? What other um, compatibility, the criteria now or aspect should we also consider with marriage? You know, what what do you think about the belief compatibility I talked about earlier? Also about attraction, making um, ensuring that you are with someone you are attracted to. What do you think about it? Let me know. It would be nice to actually share your reaction in the next episode. If nothing comes, I'll just go on with it and talk. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Engage, share. Some of you have relationship and then you're not sharing these things you are learning. I don't know, but it's not wise. <laughs> don't mind me but yeah share please i beg you share with your babe or your perspective you know the ones that you're still looking out you're still getting to know right as the case may be share with them so that you have the same value and belief system you know at least that way you're able to tick off com- um, that compatibility right so share like subscribe uh comment and um to have a great weekend and a great new month. Happy new month once again. All of my love. It's Damila Daisy and this is the Johnny Cold, Johnny Cold Love Podcast. This is the Johnny Cold Love Podcast. Thank you for listening. Stay loved. Stay good. Bye guys. Bye.